John Travolta and Jimmy Fallon for the first, first time. time. Oh my gosh. You, you think you're dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. It's finally happening. I, I, the first time I met you, I got to say, first of all, thank you for being here. But the first time I met you, I, I, uh, I asked you, I begged you to be part of my Golden Globe opening. I hosted yes. the Golden Globes, and you nicely said yes. You and took good care of me. You hit a home run, man. Uh, you hit thanks. a grand slam. You came out. It was you, uh, Sterling K. Brown, and uh, Courtney B. Vance. Look at this. This is you right there, just hitting the pose. And just everyone... <laughs> I mean, I don't even know, I don't even know if you know who you are because you're you, but people love you so much. Wow, Everybody on the set me. was freaking out. But, I mean, our director, everyone's like, oh my gosh, he's gonna do the thing, he's gonna do the thing. And I go, I know, calm down, he's gonna do the thing. And then uh, your, your, your beautiful wife was there, Kelly Preston, she was there, and, and she was, I was trying to be cool next to her, but I was freaking out too, because I was like, oh my God. And they're like, oh, Kelly, yeah, he's cool. Uh, and you just nailed it, I just loved it so much. And just, I just, I, I just gotta tell you that, I, I'm one of your biggest fans ever. I'm stuttering because I'm just a big fan. Thank you for Thank loving you so me much. so much. <laughs> I really do. Uh, Jamie. You, you, uh, you, you went to uh, Brooklyn, is it yesterday? Yes. And you know what I'm talking about? Oh, you were there. Dude, it was, a, it was a scene in Brooklyn yesterday. Yeah, it was exciting. 10,000 people showed up. It, Bay yeah, Ridge, Bay baby. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And it was uh, wonderful because, you know, uh, the borough of Brooklyn is really my blueprint um, uh, foundation for my whole career. Welcome back, Cotter, Saturday Night Fever, That's Get right. Shorty, now Gotti. <laughs> and now I mean, Gotti, uh, exactly. It, Brooklyn uh, loves you. They, they do. I love you them. Went, uh, but you went back to the, to the pizzeria yes. that you were in Saturday Night Fever where you're like, two, please, two. Please, yeah. And yeah, and you got, and you, look at this. Look at the crowd and you just, this is awesome. <laughs> Come on. I mean, look at this. It's so fun. There's your wife there in front of Lenny's Pizza in Brooklyn. It was John Travolta Day in Brooklyn. And it felt the same as it did the first day I walked down the street with that paint can. There was about 10,000 people that day. Is that right? Yes, yes. I mean, th that was movie it? was supposed to be uh, like an art house movie, right? It wasn't supposed Absolutely. To... It was this tiny slice of life movie that I thought would come and go. And boy, was I wrong. Yeah. yeah. That is, I mean, it was un I, I just love that. I, 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 I love everything you did. But I, oh, I will say that I didn't impress. I mean, I, I started. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm never watching this cheek again. You know, I'm never. I love it so much. I, I did uh, an impression of you uh, to get on Saturday Night Live. I did Vinnie Barberino. But yeah, yeah. I did you to, to, as my audition. And you got the job. And I got the job. So yeah. I, you, I owe you my career. So <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, but I, 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 I freak out when I see that. And I, I, I go, I, whenever I see even in Gotti, you're a totally different person. I mean, that's, this is, what's the, who did the makeup on this? That is Mike Marino and Mike Fontaine. They're the best special effects makeup people in the world. And oh, my god. They transfer. This is when Gotti was uh, dying yeah. in prison of, of cancer, stage four cancer. Uh, it was very, very impactful. Oh, you know, so it, yeah. it, amazing job in the makeup. I was like, dude, it doesn't even look anything like you. And you it's kind crazy. of talk a with the U's and A's, guys, this yeah. and that. And like, I, it's so... He had I, a very old school accent. It old really school, was. Old uh, school Brooklyn accent. And then what, what made you want to play Gotti? Well, the family actually asked me, believe it or not. I, I thought, well, what did <laughs> whatever I, what they did say, I do? Like, whatever. Yeah, like, <laughs> sure, yeah. What time I show up on set? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. I'll shoot. I'll shoot right now. Yeah, like, don't say shoot. Okay, yeah. <laughs> And, and it, although it took seven years to, to actually come to fruition uh, through many casts, very many scripts, wow. many directors, uh, I think it was good prep yeah. because they, they were 24-7. That family's lovely. They helped us with all the, the data we needed for, you know, to be our characters fully and come to please them, uh, you know. Because uh, he was a mafia boss. I mean, he was a hitman. Yes. I mean, he's he was a... all, he, listen, he lived by the sword. He died by the sword. <clears throat> but he was also a passionate man about his family and uh john Gotti jr was there every day on the set uh making sure we we uh oh he would quality God. control oh my God. And, uh, <laughs> i would have freaked out are you kidding me i'd be like how do we tell him to get off the set oh my god how much pressure is that? like is that okay for you john uh, john it's okay it's all right pressure. it's all right yeah it's okay yeah I was like, sure okay in victoria the the mother and wife of john senior she 
was very valuable and helpful. All the video, all the, the family footage, all that contributed to interpretation. And uh, Kevin Connolly directed, did a great job Kevin directing it. Kevin did a great it. job. It, it, it opens with you just, uh, you just talking straight to the camera and saying, yeah. this is my story. And then it goes into like, almost like, you, you almost hear like that kind of good like Italian, like, uh, it, it puts almost like the, uh, like, da -da -da -da, or like, it was almost like a, yes. dun -dun, and then it goes into this awesome, Pitbull track. Yes. And it gets like my good. man Pitbull. Nasty. It's good. Yeah. I was like, and then it's but it's all original words about Gotti. I mean, this is a yes. Pitbull wrote a, a full on. He, he he actually saw a photograph of the real Gotti and myself, and he got so excited about the 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 similarity that he said, Do you think it would be all right if I wrote a song for your movie? I said, We'd be privileged, honored, we'd love it. And then he called back and said, Could I score your movie? <laughs> you could be in the movie if you want to pay your pitbull. Your pitbull you think man. you're the busiest guy in the world and just make hits left and right. It's great. It's a crusher. You guys are going to flip. Uh, and did a great job uh, in this Thank movie. You. I want to show a clip. Here's John Travolta in Gotti. Take a look at this. Thanks, Father, for doing the fireworks for you. Somebody gave God no fingers. No, it's my gift to them to do the fireworks the way I like it. That's not what I hear. I love how they build up. Now we're getting to be the build up. Look at this. Oh, this is good. All right, you want to have some fun? Let's go have some fun. <laughs> is there a problem here? We're shutting you down, Gotti. This is an unpermitted street gathering. There are illegal fireworks on these premises. What are you talking about? We've been doing this for 20 years. Let me ask you something. You're going to put these good people in jail because you're proud of the country? Is that right? You got my lawyer on the phone? Standing by. You got bail money? With interest. Set him up! <laughs> oh, come on! Hey, hello! Hey! Set him up! Oh, I love it. Gotti! Uh, this weekend, so go check it out in theaters.